and to Burundi now where talks between the government and the opposition have stalled ahead of the controversial presidential election tomorrow. Ugandan mediators say the talks will resume after the polls but it remains unclear what steps the opposition will take. Three key opposition figures including two former presidents have declared they will boycott tomorrow's polls. The arrival of Ugandan President Museveni in the Burundian capital Bujumbura at the start of last week gave fresh hopes of some lasting solution to the crisis here. The ruling party in Burundi and the opposition parties and the civil society have agreed to negotiate intensively and continuously and expeditiously in order to reach an agreement. But now his words appear to ring hollow. On Sunday, government negotiators snapped the talks aimed at ending the political crisis sparked by President Pierre Nkurunziza's controversial bid to run for a third term in office. Museveni's defense minister, Crispus Kionga, who's leading the talks, told journalists that the talks had not collapsed but had simply adjourned. But the opposition has dismissed the mediation, saying the government side is not keen on discussing the controversial issue of the president bid for another term in office. <laughs> Under Burundi's constitution, a president is limited to a maximum of two terms in office. Nkurunziza, who took office in 2005, has insisted that he is eligible to run again as his first term was by parliamentary appointment, not an election. In May, a group of disgruntled military officers attempted to overthrow Nkurunziza while he was away at a summit in Dar es Salaam. The mutiny was violently crushed, but the rebel faction has vowed to continue the war if the president goes ahead with tomorrow's election. Burundi has enjoyed 10 years of stability and peace, and it would be a sad day and a real tragedy if Burundi slides back into an open conflict. The East African community is yet to take a stand on Kuruziza's third term bid but has repeatedly called for a postponement of the elections. The conflict has left nearly 100 people dead, and another 150,000 have fled the country since this latest crisis began in April this year. Jorgeo, KTN News.